Hello and welcome to another accounting tutorial where today we'll be looking at how to value inventory. Now there are three main ways to value inventory but today we'll be focusing on using the weighted average cost method. So by the end of this video you should understand what the weighted average cost method of inventory valuation is and how to apply it to an example scenario. Weighted average cost is often shortened to AVCO and under this method we assume that any inventory issued to production or that's sold to customers uses the average prices relating to the inventory held by the business. This leaves the remaining inventory left in stock to also be valued at the average price. With that in mind then you can see on screen now an inventory record card. Now this is used to show the receipts of inventory issues of inventory and the remaining balance after receipt or issue. In the first column, we'll show the date of the transaction. The next three columns will cover the details of receipts. The following two columns will then show the details of any issues and the last two columns will show the remaining balance. Using this template, let's have a look at how to value inventory based upon the average weighted cost method. On the 1st of May, Hawkins Limited had 8,000 kilograms of material 11 in its inventory, which was valued at £6.60 per kilogram. The following receipts and issues took place in May. Complete the business's inventory record card. So we start off with the opening balance at the beginning of the month. This will be the 8,000 kilograms and the question stated that these would be valued at £6.60 per kilogram giving us a total value of 52,800. Our next line would be the receipt of goods on the 4th of May. This will be 6,000 kilograms at £6.65 per kilogram. We then add the kilograms and the cost to the existing balance at the start of the month to give us our updated balance following the receipt of inventory. Now we need to record our first issue on the 13th of May. Under the average weighted inventory valuation method, we would start by calculating the average price of inventory. To do this, we take our existing balance of £92,700 and divide it by the number of kilograms, which will be 14,000. This gives us the average amount per kilogram. At this stage, leave this figure in your calculator and use it to calculate the issue. Now, as the issue is for 9,000 kilograms, we multiply this by the average cost per kilogram that we have in our calculator. This would give us an issue value of 59,593. We then need to calculate the remaining balance. So before the issue, we had 14,000 kilograms and we've issued 9,000 kilograms. The remaining balance in kilograms would therefore be 5,000. The value of this inventory would be the balance before the issue of 92,700, less the value of the issue, 59,593, to give us a new balance of 33,107. Following this, we can now record the receipt on the 19th of May. This follows the same principle as the first receipt. We can simply add the 7,500 kilograms and the cost of 51,000 onto the existing balance at this date. This would give us a new balance of 12,500 kilograms at a value of 84,107. The last transaction to record would be the issue on the 24th of May of 5,000 kilograms. Remember this will be valued at the average price of inventory. We would therefore need to recalculate the average because we've had a receipt since the last average calculation. To calculate the average then it would be the balance of £84,107 divided by the number of kilograms, i.e. 12,500. We then use this figure and multiply it by the number of kilograms issued of 5,000. This gives us an issue value of £33,643. To calculate our final balance then it would be the previous balance as at the 19th of May, less our issue on the 24th of May. This would therefore be 12,500 kilograms less 5,000 kilograms, giving us a balance of 7,500 kilograms at a valuation of 50,464. Because we take the previous 84,000 balance and take off the issue, of 33,643. And that wraps up this video on average way to cost inventory valuation methods. I hope you found this video useful and if you have, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching, 
I'll catch you in the next one.